YouTubers. Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. I got um I got this sent to me earlier today. It's actually from yesterday's date, but I'm just gonna leave this up for opinion. And I actually looked into the backstory of this to make sure this was like legit and this wasn't fake news and whatnot. And it's from the by the Federalist Papers, whatever you want to call it, but it is happening. Okay. California high school planning to remove George Washington paintings because he makes students feel unsafe. Leftists have managed to claim victory over the uh, imagined evils of monuments commemorating the Civil War. Names have been changed. Statues have come down and the Confederate battle flags have been banned. Now, the left is going after the founding fathers. A high school in Northern California, George Washington High School, to be specific, is mulling over a push to remove two 83-year-old murals from its hallways. Critics advocating for their removal say they are offensive to Native Americans and African Americans. They say that the pair of panels traumatizes students and community members. A San Francisco Unified School District, FSUSD, working group says the murals should be removed and put into storage to protect the students. SFUSD, I think this sounds like a waste of taxpayers' money, con convened in reflection to the action working group that was compromised of members of the local Native American community. Students, schools, representatives, and district representatives, local artists, and historians. Spokes a spokeswoman for the district wrote in an email to the college, Fi uh, college fix and its conclusion the group voted in a majority recommended that the life of Washington mural be archived and removed because the mural does not represent SFUSD values the letter continued historian Fergus M. Bobola told the fix that it is a deeply wrong-headed habit to project today's norms values and ideas uh, backwards in time to find our ancestors and availability uh, falling short. Now, people are not looking through a historic lens anymore on what happened and when it happened and how it happened. And without knowing this, we can't find out who we really are. So once they, they remove the founding fathers from the equation, it almost takes away in what it means to be American, right? Then later, the founding fathers don't no, no longer exist for one or two generations to come. Then they can start dismantling the um, the Bill of Rights and dismantling the Constitution, right? So, um, like I said, it's a very interesting little angle that's going to happen because we don't have paper anymore. You see paper? People aren't buying paper anymore like they used to, right? When I say paper, I mean reading material, books, um, newspapers. It's all digital. A hundred years from now, mark my words, and I've been I've already said this fifty times in my videos. A hundred years from now, none of us will be alive to tell people what's happening today. Okay, and how good this stuff, how good life was at one point. Now, what's going to happen is a hundred years from now, they're going to say the United States of America found weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. And not only that, uh, they actually uh, saved the world from the evil Saddam Hussein. Why? Because digitally, that's what it's going to say 100 years from now. And no one could argue that because no one will be alive to contest that. And paper's gone. You don't get door-to-door -door encyclopedia salesmen like you did back in the day. So it's tough. It's a tough nut to swallow. Or it's a tough nut to crack, sorry. It betrays the very troubling intolerance of the art and ambiguity of the art and the aspirations of art, he said. It's incredibly stupid if they try to erase history. It still happened, and you should all argue about its meanings. And it turns out that the California high school isn't just getting rid of George Washington. They're also cutting out Benjamin Franklin while they're at it. Oh, Benjamin Franklin. One of the most important key figures. One of the, one of the most important signatures on the Declaration of Independence. The most important signature on the Declaration of Independence is John Hancock, but a lot of those signatures, a lot of these founding fathers committed high treason by betraying the British. They did this for you. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's now, it, it just, nothing. It means nothing anymore. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to leave this open for interpretation. Comment below. I'd like to know. And if you want to support my transmission, just uh, go ahead and share one of my videos. And, uh, you know, let's get the discussion going out there. Thanks for watching.